Hello you beautiful souls, welcome here. Thank you very much for all of your kindness, all of your support, all of your love and your generous donations. I'm very very grateful to all of you. Thank you. Today we've got a very interesting love reading and I got the suggestion for it from you, from the comment section. Somebody has asked me to do a reading, how did your person feel the last time you saw each other, the last time you met. And I thought this was a very interesting topic to look at. So I've got three piles of cards for you to choose from. I will insert the picture in a second. Please take your time, listen to your intuition. You can say the name of your person out loud or in your mind to connect to them. And then choose a pile that resonates with you the most. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Hello, my beautiful pile number one, or everyone who chose clear quartzstone. Let's see how did your person feel the last time you saw each other. We are opening the reading with the Knight of Swords. Pleasure Seekers, Seven of Wands, Old Woman, The Artist, and Room. Mm -hmm. Pile One. This feels like an intense situation for me. For some reason it doesn't feel peaceful. The last meeting that you had, the last encounter or date, if it's a romantic relationship. <sighs> it's almost like when this person was preparing for it, I'll start just before you, you got together. It's almost uh, as though when this person was preparing for this date or meeting or encounter, there is this feeling of um, agitation in them, there is this feeling of um, them not wanting it to go um, surface level. It's almost like this person wanted more out of this uh, day, out of this conversation that you had, out of this exchange. There was something in their mind, something on their mind that they wanted to tell you, that they wanted to clarify. Possibly they wanted you to tell them something, like to have a serious conversation on feeding. And there's this agitation in them because it's almost like they're afraid that they will not get that. That they will, uh, that the meeting will go like on a very superficial level, it wouldn't mean anything and you will end up um, at the same stage, like the situation will continue being stagnant. I see this person preparing mentally for this day for some reason i don't know why i don't know what happened but in their mind they wanted to tell you something either they wanted you to tell them something there's this need to clarify something to have a serious deep um, conversation that would clear the air between the two of you the energy between you two it's almost like they wanted to get clarity on something this is what they wanted or they knew that you would want some clarity. It's almost like they wanted to mobilize themselves mentally, come up with some sort of strategy or prepare themselves mentally for, for a heat of some sort, for something that they would have to deal with, some information that they would have to deal with. I know this is very specific. If it doesn't resonate with you, then maybe don't watch this reading, choose another pile, but that's what I'm feeling very strongly. There is this eagerness to clarify something in them before this person um, headed towards you, before you met up for the last time. A need to speak, a need to have a conversation about something, to almost like to make up their mind or to, to see you making up your mind. This is very interesting. <laughs> what I'm also getting is that this person wanted to get to the point. That's the energy I'm getting from them, that this Knight of Swords, they, it's almost like this clear focus, they wanted to get to the point, they didn't want any distraction during the last time you saw each other, they didn't want to skip on the surface and just waste the time, the precious time that you had. 
It's almost like they wanted to get to the point to understand something, to see something clearly, get to the root of the issue. This is what I'm feeling. This is how they were preparing themselves. That's what they were hoping for out of this last time you had together, last uh, conversation, last meeting, whatever it was. What actually happened? How did they feel? I see a lot of defense in this person. It's almost like they were trying to stand their ground. They wanted to talk to you, they wanted this exchange, but for some reason inside of them there was this need to protect their boundaries, protect their energy, maybe their emotions. There is some sort of wisdom in this person. Wisdom or the way of seeing life or some kind of beliefs and morals that they had that they were trying to protect. It's almost like I'm going to stand my ground, ground whatever happens, no matter what happens. And this person feels to me a little bit like an underdog for some reason because they had to protect something. They had to maybe defend themselves, justify some sort of behavior or the choice they made or um, the experiences that they were having. It's almost like, mm, I know that I'm right and I, I, I don't know, I can't... Uh, it's almost like I can't live up to everyone's expectations. I can't bend to all of the um, opinions and criticism and judgment. I just have to stand my own ground. That's what I'm feeling from this person. That's how the energy of them during the last time they were with you. They were protecting something. For everybody it will be something different, but I'm strongly getting some sort of lifestyle, some sort of beliefs or choice that this person made, or the vision that they had. They were protecting it from you or maybe from other people. There is this uh, almost like military energy in them, <laughs> not military, but strong protector energy I'm sensing from this person. They were protecting something. Um, what happened after this, the last time you saw each other? We've got the artist in the room. Oh. This feels to me like this person went into their own um, comfort zone into their own security, into their stability, and started dreaming, started uh, trying to manifest something, st started trying to create something. Maybe it's a very creative person. Maybe it's someone who is like uh, handy, crafty. They do something for a living that involves art or writing things or music, something like that. There is very ethereal and soft energy about them. So they went back into their comfort zone, they went back to what they know, but after whatever happened between the two of you, they started to dream big about something, they started to paint this picture of the future they might have someday. Could be related to you, could be related, like, it could be just general, we will see when we clarify with the oracle cards, but what I'm feeling is that It's almost like they went into their own safe space to continue manifesting something, to continue dreaming about something, hoping and wishing for something, and um, seeing that vision, seeing that, that picture in detail, um, painting it in their mind and trying to m make it alive. On a more material level, this person just went uh, creating things. They went home, went to their whatever job, whatever they do, some sort of comfort zone, and they continued creating something. Uh, doing something that uh, inspires them, that's what I'm feeling. Let's look at your oracle cards, pile one. Very interesting energy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We've got this card individuality. That's what I'm feeling from this person. They're just someone who is completely their own, their own person. They think for themselves, they um, have a eccentric, unusual, very bizarre vision of the world, of life, and uh, maybe they even dress in a strange way, or they look strange, or maybe people don't 
understand them, their reasoning. Most people just question the, the way they live, the things they believe in. There is something very interesting and unusual about them. And I feel like that's what they had to protect during the last time you saw each other. They had to... Uh, almost I'm getting this energy protecting their mm, individu individualistic views, standing their ground and um, not bending to the pressure of other people or maybe you, your pressure towards them. There is just something... Um, there's the stubborn nature in this person that I'm feeling. It's just they're not going to be like everyone else. They're just completely um, unique and authentic. That's like their main goal and what they inspire to be. Also, they've got this card door to spirit. It feels like maybe you had some spiritual conversations with this person the last time you met. Maybe uh, there were some huge insights that came to them during the last time you saw each other because after that I see them going somewhere and it's almost like they had this huge wave of inspiration that came over them and they started doing something very artistic, unusual, very uh, mm, something to do with their vision, with things they want to manifest, with spirituality, with um, the lifestyle that lifestyle they want to live and again a spiritual insights that came to them during this um, exchange that you had it's almost like you gave them mm, an inspiration to become better to improve themselves to become deeper to think of more important deep things in life feels very insightful, this energy. Even though I see them resisting you and your impact on them during the last time you met. But at the end, what happened was incredibly inspiring to them and motivating and just uplifting with this door to spirit. They understood something. They realized something that they've been resisting for a very long time. Also, we've got this card, Solitude. It could be that um, this was the moment they realized that the way they're standing their ground, the way they're pre protecting themselves, the, the shield that, and barrier that they put uh, around themselves is going to lead them to this solitude, inevitably, to this um, isolation and this hermit mode I'm feeling from this card. It's almost like this person is sacrificing, sacrificing the connection or sacrificing the uh, the bond you had together, this connection, this relationship, for their own views, for their own truth and vision, and um, and they're aware that this this is going to them to them being alone at the end. And that's what I'm feeling strongly with this room and artist, that eventually they went back into their comfort zone, into their solitude, into their familiar setting, familiar environment, and maybe they started learning something, studying, is just but on their own, without you in their life or without your support. It just feels like they went back to their loneliness. They went back to their solitude, that's what I'm feeling here. Oy. And then they've got a message from them, and it's desire. It says, I can still taste you. Yes, there is a lot of passion that this person has for you, but it's almost like their mind is playing tricks on them. Their mind is sometimes too stubborn, sometimes too rigid. And they're protecting themselves very strongly. There is this defense mechanism that gets in the way of them experiencing this beautiful connection. Almost like it's so important for them to be true to themselves and not... It's, there is this feeling of difficulty, um, difficulty with adjusting to other people, compromising. Um, 
changing their opinions, changing their uh, behavior, maybe even expression. It's just very individualistic person is coming through here. Let's look at uh, their messages to you. What do they want to tell you, Pile One? How do they feel about you? How did they feel the last time they saw you? got this card I want to be more than friends and I feel like this is the energy of now this is what they want you to say uh, to say to you especially if um, this connection ended on a friendly note or maybe you um, th there's this energy of them want wanting to be more with you more for you um, to have a stronger bond here I feel like it kind of uh, it got shaken during the last time you saw each other because i feel like all of their defense mechanisms went up for some reason here i wish things could be different yeah mm -hmm. i left you before you could leave me yep this is it this is what i was feeling the solitude it's almost like sacrificing this happiness sacrificing this connection this warmth um this kind heartfelt bond with you for their own beliefs for their own it's almost like out of fear out of protecting something themselves and i feel a lot of regret here i feel a lot of regret here let's get some more messages what else okay what else would they say to you pile one but you can you can see my blood mm -hmm. there's this torn energy in this person very agitated and uh, torn and chaotic inside of them especially inside their mind their mind is very um, rigid for some reason it's not at peace that's what I'm feeling I feel like the only time they feel peace is when they're creating something when they are in their comfort zone when they feel secure and stable but otherwise it's just there's this constant struggle with the outside world and like protecting themselves from the judgment from criticism from other people's opinions mm -hmm. we've got this message i miss your sunshine in my life so much they obviously miss you and feel very lonely without you i constantly feel you running through my veins and then we've got you're worth fighting for yeah yes I feel like this person is not giving up on you even if you saw each other a very long time ago there is this feeling like they're still dreaming of you they're still trying to manifest this manifest this connection what else what do they want you to know your person where this is headed it feels like an open-ended situation for me like this is not ideal this is not what they wanted this connection to be this um, exchange of emotions information is just it doesn't feel right for this person I feel like it doesn't feel right I have so many things on my mind, even though you might be the best to understand, I can't go to you. Mm -hmm. I feel like they're keeping themselves. Um, <laughs> this almost feels uh, masochistic to me. Masochistic when someone likes to hurt themselves. This is what this person feels to me. Like, as though they want this happiness, they want to be with you, but no either i don't deserve it or um, my my views my beliefs my 
goals are more important, I should focus on that, I shouldn't go after my dreams, and not, I shouldn't listen to my heart. <laughs> and the last message, I'm, I'm so glad that this is the last message for you, Pile One. I will love you forever. Okay, I think this is all I had for you, Pile One. Um, I'm glad to leave you with that message. Hope it brightens your day if this is what you've been hoping for. And uh, I wish you lots of happiness and lots of love for yourself and for others. And I will see you in my next video. Bye bye. Hello, my beautiful pile number two, or everyone who chose this beautiful labradorite stone, I think it is. And uh, let's see, how did your person feel the last time you saw each other? We are opening the reading with three of swords. Haughtiness. King of swords. Melancholy. Four of Pentacles and Fortune. I feel like this person was preparing for this day, for this meeting, for this exchange, and it was very hard for them. I feel like emotionally they knew that they're going to be hurting. There is a lot of pain here. There is a lot of um, almost like very heavy weight on the soul and their heart. It's just almost like they wanted to scream into the universe, but they didn't let themselves. It's almost like, I'm stronger than this, I'm not going to give in to my emotions, but their heart is completely torn, is completely broken here for some reason. I don't know what happened. Maybe the reason for you, for, for this meeting, for this date, whatever it was, if it was a romantic relationship, was um, to discuss something, to put an end to it, or to... It, was, it just feels very sad to me. It feels disheartening. It feels, just look at this card, this Three of Swords. In this deck particularly, there is so much pain here. There is so much anger. And it's almost like this person is angry at the injustice, at the, at the way things turned out, at the way they happened in the end. There is this feeling like... Um, they want to express this pain, they want to show you how sad they are, how mm, angry they are as well. But it's almost like they were trying to keep their face, they were trying to keep this facade, this upfront as someone strong, someone resilient, very rational, logical. But inside of them there is so much sadness, there is so much um, disappointment, it's almost like... Uh, I'm hearing all of this went to like was a waste or it was all for nothing. It's just it feels very um, heavy, heavy energy of disappointment and frustration I'm feeling from this person. And definitely a heartbreak. The situation was nothing like they expected. The outcome of this connection was nothing like they expected. But it's almost like they didn't want to, um, to show how much it hurt hurt them. They didn't want to express this to you or for others to see. They wanted to keep it private and instead just be logical, rational, smart and um, d to not show any emotions at all. Because we've got this King of Swords energy and it's all about um, it's a very harsh energy. It's someone who is kind of cynical. I'm almost getting the cynical energy from them, but it only comes from the inner sadness, it only comes from the uh, trying to protect the, themselves and not cause any more pain to themselves. There is a lot of sadness here uh, about how this person felt. It's almost like I'm getting this learning from their mistakes or this energy when someone gets hardened by what happened to them, hardened by the experiences 
and they become very cynical. It's almost like this phrase, I knew, I knew this would happen, I knew it. This is what I'm feeling. I knew. Very, um, they're definitely depressing their emotions, they were depressing their emotions when you were together the last time you saw each other. But before they came towards you, before this happened, this is past energy, just before, when they were preparing for this day, there is a lot of pain, there is a lot of suffering here, there is just... I, could, I wouldn't be surprised if this person cried before seeing you, um, regardless of whether this is a man or a woman. It's almost like I'm trying to keep my dignity, I'm trying to stay positive, I'm trying to uh, be someone that others could look up to and, um, and your person, like you, could look up to, but inside of me there is so much suffering, there is so much sadness. And I know that there will be more. I know that there will be more and I'm going to meet it when it comes to me. This is w what I'm feeling from your person. During the time you were together, what did they feel? They feel a, a lot of sadness, heaviness and disappointment, but I don't think they showed it. I don't think this person showed it because the King of Swords, he is usually, this is very emotionless energy someone who doesn't express their emotions as much. It's all about connecting on an intellectual level. They might have uh, kept the conversation going, they might have expressed their opinions in a very um, radical, rational way, Try to be logical, Try to be cold and detached, but inside of them there is a lot of um, sadness, a lot of sadness. Like grey, grey feeling I'm getting. Uh, what did this meeting, this uh, the last time you saw each other, how did this affect them? In after this happened, how did this affect them? We've got four of pentacles and fortune. I see this person holding on to their stability. I see them holding on to their material life, focusing on what they've got. Um, some sort of security in their life could be money could be their job it's almost like they went back and realized i need to save money i need to earn more i need to become more financially stable there is this realization for some reason that money is very important in their life now that they need to be financially independent that they need to be um, more uh, wealthy there is something about their value that they would feel um, needs to be reflected. The way they value themselves, it needs to be reflected in the money that they have in their life, the inflow of money. And this is what they begin focusing on. Find, finding ways to earn money, finding ways to save money, um, finding resources for themselves, building this stability, building this um, empire for themselves. This is like the, the the outcome. This is how this whole interaction affected them. Let's look at your oracle cards, pile number two. <laughs> they completely mirror the tarot cards, as always. <laughs> um, for some reason, from this deck, I was meant to to pull two one card and two fell out, but I guess it was just meant to be. We've got this card complicated. And I feel like this is what they felt about this whole situation, about your connection, about how this turned out. There's a lot of sadness, a lot of confusion, and um, it's almost like this is not how I wanted it to go. This is not I was, what I was expecting out of all of it. It became too heavy, too complicated, too difficult. And there is this uh, self-defense in them as well with this King of Swords, I'm feeling it very strongly, especially mentally. I feel like this person was, they suffered a lot just be before coming towards you, to this date, to this meeting, to whatever exchange you had. They suffered emotionally a lot. I felt like they shed many tears. But when you saw each other, this person was trying to stay calm trying to stay uh, radical, logical, 
uh, cynical maybe at times, but it was all almost like a combative self-protection thing with this warrior energy I'm getting as well. Almost like I'm not gonna let... Uh, I can't take any more hurt anymore. This is what I'm getting as well. I can't take any more hurt. I would rather be cold and stifle my emotions and keep them in check rather than open up my heart and pour my emotions into this connection. There's just some coldness in them. Intellectual, mental coldness that I'm feeling. Also, we've got this card, Door to Value. That's what I was speaking about. Somehow, they came to a realization that they need money. I don't know what happened. I don't know what kind of conversations you had. Maybe there's something that life threw at them after they, you parted ways. But they realized that they need to earn money. They need to save. They need to build their stability. And possibly they, they acted on it. I see them acting on it. Trying to earn money. Trying to find opportunities. Uh, again, with this prosperity begins. They realize that they need to put the seed into the ground so they can reap the rewards later. They can have some fruits of their labor. They wanted to become wealthy for some reason. Maybe to prove something to you. Maybe to have a chance to make things right. Or maybe that's something that caused them a lot of pain. Their suffering. Their, maybe they didn't have a job. And that's the pain that they were feeling. That's what, where it was coming from. They felt um, the feeling of lack. That's what was kind of getting to them. And they realized that it's time to earn money. It's time to work. It's time to become more abundant. And then we've got the message card and it's called Fantasies. It says, I can't stop thinking about you touching me. <laughs> okay. Also a lot of passion here for you, Pal, too. And... Um, Regardless of how much pain they felt during the last time they saw you, I feel like they're still dreaming about you, fantasizing about you, and uh, there is a lot of fire and passion between you and them. Let's get some messages from them. Well, too, what do they want you to know? How do they feel about you? Right now. Let's do their feelings right now, not back then. How, what do they want you to know? Your person. Mm -hmm. I'm starting to understand our connection. I feel like they did have a lot of time to think things through to um, reflect on what happened because when this whole situation happened they were very much mm, not in a good place in a very difficult dark place emotionally even though they didn't show it to you I feel like they didn't I don't react when people mention you I feel like there is still some leftover sadness and heaviness in them about what happened and about how things went it's still difficult for them to talk about you, probably, even. I know I was a distraction from your pain. It could be that um, this person didn't know how they fit in your life, how important they are to you, and this is why this confusion and this pain, and th they just didn't want to show you how um, emotionally attached they are to you, how important it is to know that you value them, that you want them because I see them being quite proud this is someone very proud you guys very proud and they won't admit that they're hurting this is not the type of person who would just carry wear their heart in their sleeves let's get some more messages what else what do they want you to know pile two got this card my love for you is without bound mm -hmm. 
Do you still have feelings for you, regardless of what happened? I live for your smile and I would die for your kiss. I feel so much joy with you, it's like I'm a kid again. For some reason, from this person and this connection, I'm getting this energy. When things are good, they are really good. When things are bad, and when you're at the low point, they are really bad. It's almost like there's no in-between. It's, in, it's a very intense connection. And uh, the pain that they were feeling is just is, it's as equal as the happiness that they felt with you. The elevated joy and happiness you made them feel. Like they're a kid again. Like they're... Um, no worry in the world. What else would they say to you, Pile 2? What do they want you to know right now? <sighs> Very interesting. Very interesting. You guys, I'm not sure if this them being, being petty or trying to make amends, but they're, they're, look at that. We have this message. I have shifted my attention to someone else. To be honest, I don't feel like this is true because there is a lot of pain in them. Maybe they were hurt and now they're trying, maybe they're even like posting things on social media that they're with someone else or uh, that they moved on because we also got this message I can't make the choice between you and another I don't feel like this is true at all I would see something some indication like three of cups three of pentacles this to me like feels like a very hurt person like someone whose ego was wounded someone who has experienced Maybe a lot of jealousy and they tried to get back at you or something like that. Yeah, <laughs> look at that, this message now. I have self-esteem issues. Sorry if that interferes with my actions. That's what it is. Pride, self-esteem and this self-defense mechanism. And we've got this final message. You fulfill my soul. You do. You do. So this is all I had for you, Pile 2. I hope this gave you some clarity. I hope this um, answered some of your questions. And I wish you lots of happiness and lots of love for yourself and for others. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Hello, my beautiful Pile number 3, or everyone who chose yellow marble. Let's see how did your person feel the last time you saw each other. We are opening the region with the Three of Pentacles. Sorrow. The Queen of Swords. Thought. Four of Pentacles. And misfortune. <clears throat> I feel like before coming toward you, before this interaction, before this date, whatever it was, this person was preparing uh, mentally, preparing to pull, pull through during this conversation, during whatever interaction you had. It's almost like they wanted to make it friendly, they wanted to make it work, they just, there is, I see them like juggling um, arguments, um, topics to talk about. It's almost like they wanted to, to fix this, they wanted to make it lighthearted, to make it positive, to make it happy, regardless of this, what the situation really looked like. In their mind, they were preparing to come towards you in a friendly manner, uh, to come towards you like with peace, with um, support, with kindness. That's what I'm feeling. Even though inside of them there is so much sadness with the sorrow energy, it's almost like all is lost. But I'm not going to show it. I'm not going to show my emotions. I'm not going to show what my heart is going through. I'm just going to be 
to do the like to be a leader in this teamwork that's the energy i'm getting from your person it's as though they they persuaded themselves that they need to come towards you optimistically uh with some light-hearted topics and like help you out with something be supportive be kind but inside of them they are completely shattered they're completely um, there is this energy of uh, regret. Regret is what I'm feeling. Regret and disappointment and sadness. It's almost like now they know something and they can go back uh, before they knew that information or the, the, the truth of the situation is just... They can't undo something. They can't un unknow something, I want to say. But they were preparing themselves, they were trying to find ways to make things go smoothly. How did they feel during the, this date, this exchange? They were thinking about you a lot. It's almost like they were thinking about you, um, about the lack of emotional warmth from you about your about how rational you with them you were with them how cold you were with them how detached and logical you were with them it's almost like they were trying to they were breaking um picking their brain trying to understand you trying to, to understand why you are the way you are why are you acting this way why are you being so cold this is what i'm feeling it's almost like they don't understand the shield that you had they don't understand the Mm, the logical approach you suddenly took to this whole situation. It's almost like they were going crazy during that last time you saw each other, trying to understand you, trying to understand uh, why you changed, why you suddenly not showing your affection anymore, not being your usual self, I want to say. There is some sort of closed energy from you. It's almost like you're very discerning, you're very suspicious in regards to them and you're just like a little bit disheartened in, in regards to this whole situation. And this person felt very uncomfortable and very self-conscious under your gaze, under the way you were um, approaching them, under um, your treatment, I want to say. There's something about you the way you were behaving the last time you saw each other, that was making them very uncomfortable. This is not what they wanted things to go like. This last meeting was not how they expected it to go. And they were just very, very confused. It's almost like they're holding like their head and their head hurts. That's what I'm feeling, like their head hurts. Maybe they didn't feel good physically as well that day. For some of you, this will resonate. There is just a lot of confusion in them. That's what I'm feeling. What this last experience together, um, how did this affect them? We've got four of pentacles and misfortune. I feel like they realized how... Um, how do I put this energy into words? This person has realized that they were left out in the cold. How they realized that they don't have much anymore. For some reason they feel like they've lost something their resources were depleted it's either they don't they lost some time or they lost their resources it just feels like um it could be financial situation that they feel that they started to feel very disappointed about and they realized that they need to save money or maybe get out of this um, dark place they ended up in uh, Something about the, 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 the energy of stability in their life, the energy of resourcefulness and uh, quality of their life. They realize that they, even, they are not in a good place. They have lost, they have suffered um, serious misfortunes and uh, they don't have much. That's what I'm feeling from this person. They have realized that they don't have much for some reason. Yeah, it feels like gathering the last crumbles and trying to make, like, make do 
do whatever they, they can with the little amount of things and resources they have. This is what it feels to me like the outcome of your last meeting, your last conversation. I know for everybody it will resonate uh, in a different way and this is kind of a specific message. If it doesn't resonate with you, then maybe it's not your pile, but this is what I'm feeling. Let's look at your oracle cards. Overall, quite uh, heavy, heavy feelings from your person I'm channeling here. They were preparing for it to go smoothly, to go on a friendly note, but eventually they were shook and uh, hit hard by the way you were with them, by the way, by um, beliefs you had, by the treatment you were giving them. And they ended up feeling like they lost. They lost a lot. They don't have much. Okay. <laughs> okay, pile three. We've got this card strategy. This is what I was feeling initially, the way they were preparing for this last... the last time you met up. They were making some sort of a strategy, coming up with explanations maybe, or some good topics, some light-hearted, happy things to discuss, maybe some things they could support you with, some help they could give you, or they wanted to discuss something that you had in common. So they, they were building the strategy, they were quite hopeful, they were happy, but inside of them I see them already bleeding a little bit, crying inside of them, inside of their heart, because they were anticipating the pain that the last meeting would bring them. But I feel them trying to be quite um, optimistic and make some kind of a plan of how they can pull things through with you. But I feel like it didn't work. It didn't really work because we also have this High Priestess of Air, exactly the same energy as the Queen of Swords here. A lot of coldness, a lot of detached energy, a lot of... Um, discernment, suspicious energy, and almost like cutting with the sharp um, with a sharp knife to the core of things. This is how it felt the last time they saw you, the last time you spoke. Uh, they got a lot of cold energy from you, a lot of um, cynical almost treatment. Maybe you were just trying to protect your boundaries, maybe you were just trying to protect your views, your beliefs, and your to stand your ground, but this person was kind of um, shocked but by what they got from you. This is what I'm feeling. And it made them think, it really made them think a lot about why you were that way. Also, we've got this card, Accelerated Motion. It tells me that maybe for some of you this connection was quite, this meeting, this exchange was quite brief. Or maybe you were traveling together for some reason, maybe you spent it like on a train or on a bus the last time you spoke. Because this is almost like the energy of Eight of Wands. Maybe you were uh, like in a transportation of some sort, maybe you talked in a car the last time you, you met up. This, there's this energy of movement. It could be that it just happened fast. Like you spoke and then it's gone. You, you went your separate ways. Or it, was some, it involved some sort of travel here with this accelerated motion. It feels like it happened too fast. This exchange, this last time you saw each other, happened too fast for them. And also we've got this card, Union. And it says, Journey of Love. Yeah, I feel like this is what they wanted all along. They wanted to be with you. This is what they were planning. This was their strategy, to be with you. They wanted this union. But in the end, it's just I feel like their dreams and wishes, that they, they didn't um, be become reality for them. At least not back then. Let's get some messages from them, from your person, pile three. How do they feel about you now? Let's do now. Current energy. How does your person feel about you now for pile three? Mm -hmm. 
You've got this card, I am becoming a better person. I feel like you really influenced them. I feel like you, 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 you showed them a lesson. You, you showed them something. Maybe some flaws of them or you, you proved them something. And you taught them a lesson. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling and that's why they're changing now. They're looking back and they feel like they need to change something about themselves. Mm, look at that. I hid who I really am from you. Maybe that's why you closed off from them. Maybe that's why you just left them in the cold and showed them not the most warm treatment. That shocked them so much. The timing just wasn't right for us. Yeah, there is a little bit of regret that I'm feeling from them as well. Maybe the circumstances didn't help either what was happening in your own lives. Let's get some more messages, Palfi. What else would they say to you? This card flew out and it says, you are my muse. So regardless of what happened, regardless of how things turned out, you you still inspire them. I feel like they still find you beautiful and uh, someone they look up to, someone that they truly admire, especially your mind, your discernment, something about your intellectual abilities. You're just you're incredibly witty and wise for this person. I live for your smile and I would die for your kiss. A lot of passion here as well. Mm, yeah, look at that. Am I good enough for you? It's almost like you put this person in place or maybe you showed them that they're not um, on the same level as you are. It's just they felt quite small, that's what I'm feeling. And very insecure with this thought and king of uh, queen of swords. Insecurity. I feel like you really triggered some of their insecurities about themselves. Showed their weak weak spots uh, what else what else do they want to tell you pile three this message if you knew how I feel I'm afraid you would find me obsessive I feel like this person didn't really show you how they felt they didn't show the extent of how emotionally attached they were to you how much you meant to them out of fear out of fear that you would judge them or maybe that they would never that you would not consider them worthy of you something like that oh no I'm so lonely. I just feel so so bad for them, like so sorry for them, out of nowhere. <coughs> I can't wait to see you. Yeah, it's almost like this person um, was put in their place. They were hurt. They were. Um, left out in the cold, cold almost, and I'm not judging you at all, I know you had your reasons, no judgment here, but eventually I feel like they're not giving up, they're not giving up. Oh, look at that, they respect you so much, they admire you so much, regardless of how much they have to go through, they still feel like you are incredible. We've got this message as well. I want to give you all of my respect. I'm in awe of you. Mm. Wow. Intense reading. So this is all I had for you, Pile 3. I hope this gave you some clarity. I hope this answered some of your questions. And I wish you lots of happiness and lots of love for yourself and for others. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.